that's the great club and so basically they are gonna hit this curve in the Pumduri and there's some degree it's gonna heat some cold and hot chai we're trying tandoor chai Thank cheers you, bro cheers let's give it a shot that's good but still really hot still a little bit too hot yeah welcome to Pune India this city, just a three hour drive east from Mumbai, is steeped in history and culture and boasts a vibrant food scene. Today we're going to explore this historical city's past and present, from its cultural sites to its traditional and diverse Maharashtrian cuisine. Pune dates back at least to 758 AD and became India's political center during the Maratha Empire in the 17th and 18th century. It was also the heart of the opposition against the British Raj in the 19th and 20th centuries. In this documentary, I'm taking you to experience Pune's rich history at Shaniwar Bada Fortress and the temples atop Parvati Hill. We're also diving deep into some of the best Maharashtrian dishes on the planet. From massive tallies to masal puri to sponge dosas. And the third one that you see out here is a potato masal. Next up. Pune is a feast for all your senses and you're about to see why. Let's go to Pune, India. Whoa, what is happening here? Man, we are traveling in the middle of the night. What is it, like 4 or 5? 4, 18 in the morning. Right 4, 18 now. in the morning and we're driving from Mumbai all the way to Pune. It's a two yeah. and a half hour drive. Yeah. Probably the fastest way to get here because if you go to the airport, take it, you know, you have to be there like an hour and a half early. Yeah. They have an hour flight. Same thing. Oh, exactly. Then, then from the airport, you land and you still have to get into town. So yeah, yeah. And, the, and the earliest like the Pune was at six thirty. So I thought this was gonna be the best thing, so we can you know get there early. Yeah. And I think we're probably gonna be able to have breakfast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I need some chai right now. Yeah, chai. <laughs> Definitely chai. So we stopped here, uh, basically halfway to Pune to get some chai. If you guys don't know what chai is, that is Indian tea. It, they make it with milk. Then they also put some ginger, and here a lot of people just left theirs right here on the table. And I think it was, how much was it? Sam, how much was it? 72 rupees for the chai? It's basically one US dollar for three chai. It's not bad value, man. My driver, my, my driver's tired. Yeah. What time is it, my friend? Okay. 4, 4 a.m. <laughs> Are you tired? It's 4.20 in the morning, or 4, like, 30 in the morning. It's too hot, it's too hot, it's too hot? Oh, yeah. That's cool. So the one thing about chai you have to know is they always serve it like boiling hot, so you have to like sip it slowly. Oh, too hot. Too hot. I've read too hot, too hot. Oh. So what do you think about that? It's really good, but like you said, it's a bit too hot to handle at the moment. Mm. You really taste that spice though, it's so good, man. And the milkiness, I love it. Yeah, the ginger, man. Ginger, yeah. Perfect thing to be having at what, like four in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the good thing is that it's not too much caffeine here. Just enough to keep us here. Mm. And just know that when you come to India, you're gonna drink chai. You're not gonna drink almost any coffee. But this is amazing. It's almost like a cafe con leche. Exactly. And this is like when I traveled by train in India. This is like what I was subsisting off. Oh, man, I was just having chai after chai. The chai all go chai chai. I'm like yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, we actually, it was so funny, there was one time we had a stack, I think we had like 15 or 17 chives between my old family, oh it was my hilarious. <laughs> well here goes, incredible India, here we go, we're starting it off right. We sure are man, this is awesome. The car is comfortable. It really is. Air conditioned, lots of space, lots of leg room. We can totally calm. I don't know why we haven't to be honest. <laughs> oh, we haven't crashed? <laughs> yeah. I think it's because the thing is we haven't seen each other in four years, dude. Yeah, so we're, we're catching up. We're catching up big time. Boys trip. Boys trip. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking like we're gonna pass by all these big trucks, and there's like an even bigger cluster up it <laughs> every single time. <laughs> what? What are you saying? We're playing Tetris? <laughs> it's like we're playing Tetris. It's like playing a video game on the road. I, I I didn't think I'd be this awake, man, but <laughs> I'm pretty alive right now. What's crazy is that this is not even that far from Mumbai. No. At all. So this is what we're doing on our two and a half hour journey, making a video. Yeah. <laughs> For you and uh, tip. Uh, it came to four thousand something. Yeah, he gave a little tip. His driver was awesome. He waited for us. He was like a champion, and he got us here really quick. So I think that was awesome. So we just arrived in Pune, and we made it here to our Airbnb. Oh my God! Six in the morning. Oh. Food. <laughs> okay, so 
I booked this transfer through a travel agency. I'm gonna put the link in the description. And right now we're gonna go to our Airbnb and check it out. Let's go inside. It's not so heavy, my friend. I know, it's really heavy. <laughs> it's like 20 kilos. Is that everything? That's everything, that's everything. So, we got a pretty amazing Airbnb. I think it's like, I think it was 40 bucks a night. It's a big place. It's on the fourth floor. Wow. We're in a super nice area in the city. It's like next to a park. Welcome to my Airbnb in Pune. It's a two bedroom, two bath. We got a terrace. This place is amazing. Let me show you the first room. This is great, spacious, colorful. I love the paintings they have here. Here we have a pretty big closet. You can hang enough stuff here. You can put your shoes, socks, underwear. I like it, you can spend a lot of time here. And then the bathroom, your standard Indian bathroom. Totally. Totally, <laughs> totally. Now, and you gotta turn on the heater if you want hot water, but we're gonna take cold showers right now because we wanna freshen up. Exactly, we're already like sweating in here. Yeah, and uh, let's keep going. Let me show you the rest. As you walk in, we have some beautiful photographs of India, a little bit of India, and then over here, we have the kitchen. I mean, this place is set up so you can stay here a month, a week, a year, whatever you really want. It's really big, decent kitchen. I mean, this is a lot. Here you make your eggs, and then again, turn on the heater. Yeah, <laughs> which we have no idea how to work by Yeah, way. I never know. <laughs> And this is this is like my uh, my Indian grandfather here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So living room over here to the left. We have dining big table here. We're actually working out of here right now because we're not gonna really eat here. We're gonna eat on the road or outside all the time. And then over here we have the living room. This is beautiful. I really love the decor here. Very India, very Maharashtra. Oh, this is so comfortable. Oh, I know. I'm like sitting on the other chair. <laughs> pass out on here, man. <laughs> right, let me show you some more. So then here, well, here we have our little library. <laughs> and this is my room. So I guess it's, they're both the same size. Both rooms the same size. Have a little desk area here. Have two closets, one there, one here. Pretty big. Again, this is made so you can stay here you yeah. know, multiple nights or multiple weeks. It's cool how we both have our own little desk in our room. I know, right? We can really awesome. work out of it if we need to. Totally. And then here's a bathroom, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So let me turn that on. That's a big thing here in Indy because you have to turn on the heater. Yeah. Now, let me show you the best part of this apartment. The best part here. Like, hands down. Hands down the terrace. This is so amazing. Look at this, guys. This terrace is bigger than some apartments I've stayed in. This is so awesome. <laughs> Very vintage India style. Oh my god, I'm gonna like pass out right here. And it's so chill here, like there's just like a lot of nature, there's a lot of like trees, you hear birds. We also have a bird we have a bird nest. We have right a here. resident bird. Yeah, right there, resident Look at that. bird. We have a little garden here. And that's our tour of our Pune Airbnb apartment. If you wanna check this place out. It's here in the description below. It's in a beautiful area. It's very safe. There's actually a huge park nearby. Yeah. Super and green. Super it's green. Super spacious. You can feel the air, you know. Yeah. Well, a big thing in India is pollution. Yeah. And here it's like, oh. Oh, it's like fresh air, man. Super fresh. Love it. And I hope you guys love this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to Sam and Audrey, and David's been here. And I'll see you on the next adventure in India. We're going for breakfast right now. Breakfast food tour, let's go. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here in Pune, India, the second largest city in Maharashtra, five million people here, and I'm here with my boy Sam from Sam and Audrey. Are you ready? I'm so ready for breakfast, man. Like we just arrived and we're, we brought our appetites. Yeah, we brought our appetites. We're doing like a breakfast food tour. We're starting here at Buhumin Cafe. This place has been making amazing, amazing buns with butter and cheese for over 40 years, and they have Irani chai. That's incredible, man. Yeah, it, it they, looks know what, so they, good. they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Let's right when it. you walk in, you see the guy there. He's making some bread. He's throwing some butter, cheese. <laughs> oh my God, it looks incredible. It looks so good. Ready? Let's go check it out, man. Let's do it. So this restaurant has two levels. 
Oh, you can smell the butter. Wow. What's up, guys? <laughs> Morning. Okay. Try it, David. So just butter and toast. Butter and, butter and toast. toast. Oh, thank you very much. Oh my God. How is it? Amazing. Very crispy. This is the best toast I've had. Yeah. My life. It just like drowned in the butter, dude. Yeah, it literally drowned in the butter. It's so good. Oh man. I love it. Okay, so here we have some bun butter. Guys, thank you. Thank guys, you. Guys, you guys. Yeah, yeah, you got. You guys are very nice. Thank you. A lot more butter inside this, and there's like a what is that? Like a little red jam. It tastes like candied fruit to me. It's good, man. Let me see. Oh my god. Great way to start the day. So Wahoman Cafe is one of the older places in Pune and it's known for their uh, Persian influenced tea, uh, the Irani chai. Uh, it's kind of famous across uh, India but then uh, here in Pune, people love it out here. So you know the line starts way across. I had to find a parking way down the street. Yeah, this so place always, is completely packed. Yeah, it is always packed. Okay, so we got a feast here, Irani chai, we have butter. Grilled butter cheese, so it's a big piece of cheese. So toast butter cheese, sorry, toast butter cheese. Yeah. Bud butter. Yep. Egg burji. This looks so good. This is a famous dish in Maharashtra. Yep, and it has a kick of spice. So. A kick of spice? Oh, wow. it's gonna be amazing. And what I did last time I did this was I added that to the bread, but I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Yep, that's, you can do that? that's the way, yep. <laughs> Sounds good to me, man. Ooh, this, ah, it's too hot. It's piping too hot. hot. Too hot. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the butter bun. And look at this. Look at the amount of butter here. That's too different. Yeah, it's like a dehydrated uh, uh, chili. Probably. Cherry, yeah, okay. yeah. That's the kind of thing we get sometimes in like Christmas bread. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it goes so smooth inside. It's just the butter that has the entire to it. It's a little bit of salt and butter, I believe. It is. It is. It's a little, a little salty. I mean, obviously very creamy. I love the bun, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a very fine, delicious dish. <laughs> Believe me, when you uh, travel around India, you will see every kind of fat: the butter, the ghee, uh, this is clarified butter, everything which is like in close in the bun. Do I dip it? Yep. It's so hot. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Holy. It's enough. You have a little bit of spice, as you can see the green chili here. Uh, oh, this is gonna be so amazing right here. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot. It's hotter than you expected, huh? It, you know what, it's that little, that little green pepper, but it's so amazing. It's the flavors in the eggs, like they put some onions in here, what else they put in here? Turmeric, you said? Turmeric. Turmeric? Uh, a little bit of tomatoes. And, uh... Yeah. yeah. I mean... A lot of oil. I love it. So, guys, I haven't slept in like 24 hours. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Sam, your turn. Eat something. So, what's been on my mind, something to try, is this cheese butter toast. Oh my gosh. Like, look at the size of this cheese. It's ridiculous. Like you were saying, 
The cheese is almost the same size as the toast. Wow. Oh my gosh. The crunch of the bread. The butteriness of it all. And then that thick slice of cheese. It's like a winning combo, man. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I don't want to know how many calories are in it, but I'm <laughs> yeah. That's a scary part. Yeah. Yeah. Egg Gurji for the first time. I'm still trying to like swallow that big piece of cheese in my mouth. Wow. Oh, whoa. The delayed onset with the spice. Whoa! It's way spicier than I thought it was going to be. But it's very good though. And it's nice to be alternating between something like this and that though, because I wouldn't want to be having all spicy in the for the morning. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically taking a piece of the omelette. Okay. Pulling it across, okay. making a layer of this, and putting it in. Basically, a customized sandwich. So, wow. you for cheese and omelet, eggs <laughs> together, this is yours. It's a super sandwich. That looks so good, man. It tastes really good with the cheese, but then if you add that omelet, yeah. next level. Where are we going next? Good Luck Cafe. Good Luck Cafe? Yep. Another famous place? Yep, yep. Uh, so, they have a lot of, uh, this is also one of the older places to have and uh, they have uh, bonita and uh, tea that's uh, about five miles from here let's do it yeah let's, let's do it. it what's the name of the cafe again good luck cafe oh awesome round two we've arrived wow over 80 years old i'm not a honky here half packed in there man oh my god so what are we eating everything samosa Chives, Ban Maska, everything, everything. Alright, so we're here at Good Luck Cafe and we're gonna eat, what is this? Uh, it's called Kima, Kima Pao. So Kima is minced mutton meat. Mutton is basically uh, goat. goat. Yeah. So minced goat meat with bread. Bread. And that's it? Yep. And how do you do it? So basically you just uh, take a piece off this. Take a, a piece, piece off there, okay. Uh -huh. So it's like... Yeah. Just scooping a little bit of the mince meat. Like that? Yeah. Oh my god. Look uh, at that, man. Uh -huh. I have to tell you guys, the goat, mutton, meat is the best in India. Mm. The spices. This is amazing. This has like 80 spices. So like my taste buds are everywhere right now. Yep. But really, it's it just hitting all across. It's just hitting all across, and uh, you can really taste the actual flavor of the goat. Yeah. And uh, that's the second level to it. You can even taste what the goat had. <laughs> it's bringing a lot of flavor of it. And along with the spices, just as amazing. One be the hot chocolate version of India. Yeah. And it's still really hot, it's just with the chai, and you can see the bottom, all the chocolate there. It's like smoking hot. Oh, the only problem is, it's extremely hot outside. <laughs> that makes sense. You're fighting fire with fire. Yeah. No, but it's good, it's good. Oh my god. This dish is incredible. <laughs> I'll fly to Pune for that dish. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna try it. I think the consensus so far is that this is very good. It's gonna pile it on here. Look at that, man. Oh my gosh. It just looks beautiful. Oh. It's just so rich, man. What a breakfast, dude. What a breakfast tour. This is so nice. It's so hot though. No. What's the next stop? Uh, we are hitting up Berikas. Uh, it's a local joint for missile pao. So it's really going to hit like a missile. Wow, I cannot wait to try this last dish. More bread. Everything for breakfast is bread. Everything is accompanied with bread. Look how many tutus and cars are behind me. It's crazy. That's it? Yep. That's all about it. Okay, so we came here for the misal pav. It's a little spicy because they put some gravy on top and they put like super spicy on the side. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this really fast. Hold on. Oh. 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 oh my god, now it's hitting me. It's going down my throat. It hit, it hit, it hit every spot. Hit every spot. So the way you do it, break it up a little bit, dig in. Oh, this has like crunch. This looks so good. Whoa, look at that. Keeping amounts, huh? 
Oh. Wow. Too much is falling though. Alright. Moist. Mmm. Crunchy. A little spicy. <laughs> No, it's catching up on me, man. You know what it feels like? It feels like a bell, a bell puri, similar like bell puri. Actually, what I would do is I would just get it alone. Look at that. So you can also tell your viewers oh, the base of the gravy has a base of jaggery and tamarind. So if you observe, you get a slight tangy flavor. Okay. You get a blend of flavors, a little sweet, a little tangy, and yeah. then you have that spicy aftertaste. That is how we actually describe the gravy so the to gravy. each and every customer that comes. This basically the town that you've come to. This is a very famous product. So if you go to other joints, you'll find it only spicy. But this one, if you, if you observe, you get a sweet and a tangy taste before and then you get a spicy aftertaste once you start gulping it. Alright, so what he's telling me is that the difference between this masala pav and all the rest of the masala pavs in Pune is this one has like a tangy, sweet taste and then you feel the spice. All the other ones, it's just spice. Pure spice. I mean, you definitely get the sweet and the tangy together combined. And at the end, you get the spice, but to be really adventurous, it's gotta go nuts. <laughs> Mm. And it's like a papuri. Oh, it's sweet. It's very nice. It's, it's very light. It's like a nice chat. You know? It has a fruit as which tastes like beautiful. Oh my god. You done, man? This, this, is, this is point number two on my list. <laughs> Woo! We did it. We did it. Epic. Breakfast epic. food tour of Pune. Like epic, epic. Seriously. My favorite thing was the minced uh, mudden at Good Luck. That yeah. was out of control. That was amazing. Your favorite? I mean, I actually like the last place. The last place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was so incredible. Well. Like, I've never yeah. had something that spicy in a while. So. Miss Al Pav. That just like set my tongue on fire. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a little hot for me too. <laughs> yeah. Everything was hashtag spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah, for, sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, guys, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to Sam and Audrey. And to David's been here and he'll come soon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> waiting for his soon. <laughs> Alright, guys, see you in the next travel adventure. Peace. 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 What's up, everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Pune, India. I'm here with Sam from Sam and Audrey, and I'm here with Sam, our guide here in Pune. Double Sam. Double, Double Sam. Sam. Double Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> and right now what we're gonna do is see some attractions here in Pune. We're also gonna go have some lunch, some local eats. And the first thing we're gonna do is have some sugar cane juice, right? And the second thing that we're gonna do is, David's probably liking some girls out here. <laughs> Honking is the soundtrack of India. So the sugar cane juice out here is pure juice from the sugar cane. And it's uh, completely different from the stuff that you already had. You had all day long spicy food. This is going to uh, you know tone you down, have some uh, after effects of uh, sugar in you. Thank you my friend. Sugar cane juice with some lemon. Cheers guys. Cheers. 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 So sweet, so oh. subtle. Yeah. Yes, it cools you down immediately. So yeah. refreshing. I mean, I feel it just like. Oh, it's cooling me down instantly. We just it's had, instantaneous. Instantaneous, yeah. I mean, we just had a super spicy meal, and this is just the perfect thing to rehydrate you and calm your brain down. And obviously, we're in the shade now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, just the opposite thing, what the missile did. It gave, that gave you a heat kick, and this one gives you a cool kick. So. Oh. We needed this, man. This is almost like having a... I don't know, it's like having a beer with no alcohol. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> totally, man, totally. So now we're off to our first attraction of the day, and it is a fortress. What's the name of the fortress? Uh, Shaniwar Vada. Shaniwar Vada. Shaniwar. Wow. I think it translates to Saturday. 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 Saturday, Saturday Fortress. Yeah. <laughs> so they build roads around and wherever where there's a temple, they do not touch it. So they make it as a roundabout. And basically you can see out here you have a temple right in the middle of the road. So basically what he's saying is that before roads were built, there was temples all over the city. And when roads were built, like they would basically put it, go around. Yeah. They just Leave it out there, they cannot, uh, they cannot demolish a uh, temple, so... They can't move it either, huh? Yeah. This is Shaniwar Wada. 
It's a fortification that was built in 1732 and it was a seat of the Pashwas of the Maratha Empire until 1818 when the Pashwas lost control to the British East India Company after the Third Anglo-Maratha War. Someone just faked around saying that uh, this was built by Bajirao for his girlfriend Mastani and I think that was like not true. <laughs> <laughs> he just yanked the so basically this is just ruins of a fortress and we got the walls and we're going to go right now to the top of the walls, we're going to walk around the walls and wow, look at all these dragonflies. Yeah. You see all these dragonflies? Where? Here. Oh. It's like a hundred of them. Jeez. Indian history, you have seen it before. Bajirao Palace established in the 70th century. Bajirao first, second, third, princess, so and so. This is the original palace. This is the foundation. <sighs> Sam, so this, this, is a, this is a pretty big fortress, huh? Yeah, it is. Huh, Kampe? It's pretty big. What's up? It's pretty big. It's steep, huh? Yeah. Woo! Very steep. Oh my god. Wow. That was a steep climb, man. Yeah, Look at man. the views from up here. So, so we basically we're walking around the entire wall. It's pretty scary because there's really no railing here. You can just like easily just like ah, it's a big drop. It's a huge drop. Yeah, how many kilometers is this wall? What do you think? Should be probably around like three? Two? Yeah. Two? Two, three kilometers. Two or three kilometers. But the cool thing about Pune is that it's so green. There's trees everywhere in Pune. As you drive around here, you'll see non-stop trees. Dude, you're like in the forest there. So guys, I'm sorry, but I messed up. So there's actually multiple ways to get up to the wall and down the wall. Usually it's every corner here. That corner, I didn't see it. That corner, we got up. Uh, wherever you see banyan trees, uh, Indian people feel it very sacred that uh, it has some supernatural power to it. So they light candles and incense things. And you'll see a lot of places where they have the colorful threads and black threads tied to the, uh, you know, the leaves or the branches. So this guy reads your palms. He doesn't charge you anything. You give him whatever you think. Okay, my friend, how we do it? My palm? What's your name? David. David Hoffman. <laughs> David Hoffman. But make your friendship, keep your friendship a little bit low. 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 Am I a low friend? <laughs> okay. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of money. You make a lot of money. Yeah. I gave him <laughs> Tajwa. I can't say that on camera. <laughs> One of the main things that he said was 2019 is going to be an amazing year for me. I'm going to make a lot of money and I'm going to be very successful in what I'm doing. And he did say that, uh, you know, be very close friends with me. Good. So, and share your money and your wealth with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Of share course. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and if you want to be successful, be friends with me. Okay. <laughs> this is the funnest part about India is that you never know what's going to happen. The worst is being in a tuk-tuk with this heat. It's horrible. Whoa. Tight. Tight sidewalk, bro. <laughs> that was tight. Hey, you want a form fitting shirt? No, I'm good. <laughs> What is this? Yeah. Oh, this is a masala chai. So basically, chai. it has uh, all the uh, masalas in it, a masala ground spice mix, which contains of uh, consists of uh, ground cinnamon, cloves, um, and uh, uh, some color as well. They put in some color essence, and basically, it is uh, boiled with uh, milk and the tea leaves. So basically, it gives that uh, masala kick in it. Oh, because we're so tired, we need a... That is hot. That is so hot, scorching hot. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. The preparation that he did to put in all those places, oh. next level, man. It's beautiful how they make it. It's not your average tea. This is like on next level. And the performance of him doing it, that was just, just incredible. Like, he must have been, like, that's something you master. I mean, oh, he's, decades, he's been in like 30 years. Decades, not years. So, so good. Guys, I haven't slept like in 30 something hours. <laughs>
full on zombie mode. <laughs> zombie mode. Okay, so basically we are at the Dubru Shade uh, Halwai Ganpati Temple. It's one of the oldest temples out here. It's uh, about 125 years old. And uh, this is the most famous temple and it's crazy during the Ganpati festival which is a 10 day long festival that happens out here. Uh, Pune, uh, Mumbai and all over Maharashtra, this is a very uh, close temple and you'll see queues which goes for miles together, all together, uh, queuing up to see, uh, take a glimpse of the Ganesh temple. So, so it's dedicated to Ganesha? Yes, the Lord Ganesha, the elephant uh, god. So you can see uh, there's a silver uh, mouse or a rat which is, uh, uh, you know, they believe that uh, whispering in the, into the rat's ears, the mouse's ear, uh, fulfills the wishes. So a lot of them go ahead and, uh, you know, tell their prayers into the mouse's uh, ears. Next up, we're going to eat Wada Pav, local Indian burger. It's basically masala and then they get the bread and they put it on top of the masala and it's just soaked in masala. Oh, it's amazing. I love Wada Pav and it also comes with like a potato fritter and you put the potato fritter inside as well. Okay, so we are having the Wada Pav out here. It's the most famous Wada Pav joint out here. It's called JJ Garden Wada Pav. So basically a Wada Pav is an Indianized burger. Yeah. It has uh, a potato patty. It's a flat a potato patty with all the ground spices. Uh, which is mixed with potatoes, green chilies, and uh, a little bit of more Indian spices. It's ground, it's uh, deep fried, and it has a mint chutney coating on the bun itself or on the pav, and it's served along with some raw onion fritters. All right, so I've had a vada pav before. This time it's a little different though, because they have a mint chutney here, mint chutney there. So you put it like this, potato fritter, you just, oh, so excited. Get after it. Oh, hot. Oh. Hot. Oh. Too hot, too hot. But basically, mm, nice <laughs> fried potato. Love the green mint chutney. Yeah. Mm, the bun is so fluffy and yummy. We have a little chili. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, you're brave. You're brave. That's a dad and <laughs> Too hot. Too hot. Too hot to handle. You gotta wait, gotta wait. Uh, from, from the potato? Grandpa. Here's the extra pieces of the potato. Mm. It's nice and crunchy. Because you open it, put some of this, and put one of those. And oh, put one of those. Oh, wow. Maybe some of them. I'm hoping now that it's not too hot. Man, it was so hot. Hey, dude. <laughs> Mind your business, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, now it's nice. Mmm, crunchy, not sweet. Exactly what I needed to just wake up a little bit. Oh, and that green pepper is like hitting me. Is that it costs only 15 rupees. 15 rupees. 20 to 25 US cents. That's crazy. Not even, right? Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Four for a dollar. My God. Can you imagine? Like, I, I, I'd be beyond stuff. Man, I can't even eat two of them. I know. I'm like... Okay, we are trying out uh, the mastani, sujata mastani. So mastani is basically a milkshake yeah. and they add in a scoop of ice. The milkshake, it's a very thick creamy milkshake. Uh, the scoop of ice cream and uh, some nuts or the dry uh, almonds and cashews and yeah. stuff. Oh, wow. Pistachios. So Sam, our guy is going to order three mastanis, three different ones. This thing looks amazing. I, I need it right now. I am so tired and hot. Okay, so what I got is like a mango mastani with like peanuts, lots of different nuts on top. Wow. Oh, and there we have. Mmm. It feels almost like a lassi, but with way more nuts. Mmm, the ice cream. Oh, look, it's that show. Good ice cream, man. It was so good. This is the perfect thing to drink on a super hot day like today. I just want to extend a big thank you for showing us around today. Really refreshing shake. I mean, it feels very similar to a lassi. I think the concentration, how thick it is. You can see it's like mango. 
uh, ice cream, tons of nuts. Mm. Oh my god, I need to drink this. It's like a mango shake. Mm. Super thick though. Extremely rich. Girl. That just took the heat level from my my head. Like it was so I was so hot. Yeah. Now I'm like it's gonna like drizzle all my head. <laughs> so we had an epic street food slash attraction store today. It's been amazing. Thanks to my friend here, Sam. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. So guys, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Leave like. me a comment below. Subscribe to Sam and Audrey. Thanks. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We're gonna be in India for another three weeks. I can't wait. I'm excited. I need to get some rest though. Yeah. And I'm coming on YouTube soon. Keep the. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. everyone this is David Hoffman from David's been here with my boy Sam from Sam and Audrey and we're here in Pune India and tonight we're going on a night nice street food tour of JM Road this street is famous for its kangaris kangaris yeah yeah sorry it's so hard to say that but that's basically food stalls and as you can see it's crazy tonight it's Saturday night sure is. it's intense and we so brought our appetites man we brought our appetites I'm super hungry I can't wait to try some delicious Maharashtra food Let's go eat on Jam Road. Let's go do it. It's called Khao Gali. Yeah. Khao Gali literally translates into each street. Each street. Yeah, Khao means eat and yeah. Gali means uh, a small lane, a small street. You have every kind of uh, street food out here, ranging from Pani Puris to Bel Puris to Dhabelis. Yeah. Uh, some chicken probably on the way. Uh, but yeah, today we are having uh, the Masal Puri out here. Uh, the masal puri is more like uh, the puri is a small blown up uh, tennis ball kind of thing, ping pong kind of size uh, puri, and it's filled with uh, masala. Masala is like it's a chickpea mix, uh, which is a little bit uh, more of a. Uh, it has the spices on, and then they add uh, uh, onion, tomatoes, sage, and uh, the chaat masalas. They have variation of masalas. Right from the garam masalas to the chaat masalas to the amchur powder, which is more like uh, it gives you a tangy taste. No, so we're here with my friend Sam, and right now we're gonna try some pani puri, which I've had before in Mumbai, but it's a specialty in Maharashtra. And we're also having what's the other one called? Uh, masal puri. Masal puri. So, Chickpea masala uh -huh. with the pani puri. Yep, yep. Looks amazing, That's Sam. Look at that. Oh my Got god. It in my hands. So colorful. I'm very excited right now because I've never tried my puri. And so it's pani puri, but then on top of it, a bunch of like little fried things. Mm. This is all a one gulpa. It's so crunchy. Is it? It feels like a lot of snacks, yeah. a lot of spices as well. Mmm. Nice refreshing with tomato. Yeah. Not spicy at all. It means a very nice tap. Bro, oh, I need to have one more little ball. One more ball. Look at this ball. Oh. It's so nice. I love the crunch. Yeah. Mmm. And I love that it's not spicy. Yeah. Thank you, God. I'm going for this one bite of a uh, golf ball sized uh, puri. Mmm. I just can't get enough of it. It's amazing. Pani Let's do it. puri. Yeah. So they gave me one little ball of pani puri. So this is actually called a puri. They fill it up with this like nice minty sauce and some chickpeas inside. Like a little, like a little uh -huh. tank here. Oh, I love this. Pani puri. Yeah. It's just gonna burst into your mouth. I hope. Two different chutneys. Yeah. Loads in the flavors. Very traditional Mumbai and also Maharashtra. That's why we're eating it here in Pune. Yeah. All right, Sam, it's your turn. Oh my gosh, I love pani puri. My new favorite Indian street food. I just tried it for the first time a couple nights ago in Mumbai. Absolutely loved it, man. It's just so cool when you put it in your mouth and it just explodes. Mm. The combination of sweet and sour is legendary, man. Just love it. Absolutely love this. I love this uh, pani puri. I've been having it for years together. I used to have this every day, every single day. Every day? Yep. And I can handle this. Handle this. It's just effortless. I don't have to make anything. Just put it in my mouth and it goes up. It's At the end of your meal, it gives you this little extra. 
Looks like a lot of crispy stuff on top. It's without the pani, it's without the masala. It's just uh, you know takeaway thing mm. with uh, the chart. The chart. product cleanser right there. Yep. That's so bad. We're, getting, we're becoming pros at this. It takes a couple days to get used to it again, but then once you do, you're fine, man. So what we have here, uh, we are again in Kaugali, uh, and what we have here is a sponge dosa. And basically you have a, a crepe, uh, an Indian crepe, uh, which is served along with, uh, it's served on a banana leaf, if you can notice out here. Yeah. It's a banana leaf. So uh, it's effortless cleaning as well after that. Yeah. And so basically you have a couple of uh, sponge dosas along with, this is a tomato garlic chutney. It's a mix of a tomato and garlic chutney. Uh, it'll have a sour and a savory flavor to it. And this is, it looks like a mint and coconut chutney, the green one. It's a mint and a coconut chutney. And the third one that you see out here is a potato masala. Next up, we have the sponge dosa. This is a southern Indian dish. It's basically a crepe. We have some mint and coconut chutney. Yeah. We have, what is this? Uh, it's a tomato, uh, it's a potato mash. Yeah. Potato mash, okay. Yeah. And then this is tomato garlic? Yep, tomato garlic. Tomato yeah. garlic chutney. It's yeah. a bit spicy. A bit spicy? So I'm gonna first go here. Oh man. No. Oh, I love this. This chutney is gonna be so amazing. I love coconut. Oh. It's beautiful. It feels so southern, like tropical. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Wow. So I'm gonna go next with this one right here. It's so cool how there's three different sauces. Basically. Yeah, it's like three different flavors. It's like having three dish different dishes almost. It is. Not my favorite. No. 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 <laughs> I, think, I think this is gonna be my favorite. It's gonna be hot. Tomato garlic chutney. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I actually need some of this one just to like cool down. <laughs> yeah, It'll cool down after that. So much progress of flavors. Yes. One is spicy and one is uh, a soothing one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this exactly. is amazing. The coconut mint one is the best. Yeah. And that's you, man. So let me see how the sponge dosa tastes like. Oh wow, it's your first time you try. The sponge dosa, yes. Sponge dosa. And I'm being innovative by mixing both the chutney, the spicy one yeah. and uh, the mint one together. Oh yeah? Wow. This is my new favorite. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so it's cool. amazing. Oh my gosh. This is my awesome. new favorite. It's hard to do it like one hand. I'm going to do what you did. I'm going to mix. Yes. Mix and mash. Mixing, mixing spicy. Mixing. This is my favorite dosa I've ever had. This is this is so amazing. And I love how the pancake is like a sponge. Like it really is a sponge. You can see it's like little holes throughout the whole thing to yeah. absorb all the chutney. Exactly, it's like a pancake. You can probably pancake. have some uh, yeah. maple syrup on it. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. As, as a Canadian, I, as a Canadian, I approve of that. <laughs> Wow, we've eaten three amazing dishes so far. I gotta tell you, the food here is so good. Wow, my stomach is just like, it's just getting ready for it. I just can't wait to eat some more. It's so amazing. Indian. Indian food. So what we're having here is a tawa pulao. Tawa is basically the flat griddle, and uh, it's a large pan with, where they put in all the ingredients. They have onions, tomatoes, uh, I think um, some red, uh, no, green bell pepper and a lot of spices. It's going to be spicy and oily, greasy. So um, it's topped up with cheese, so rice and cheese, and it probably feels like totally, but let's give it a try. All right, so here we have a dish I've never tried before. It's called Tava Palau. Rice, lots of vegetables, spices. So it's basically rice made on a black grill, really hot. Oh my God, this is, looks incredible. Look at that. It just it looks so rich in spices. It's gonna and it's a little hot right now. I gotta give it a second in the air. Woo! Not too spicy. The rice is actually not like too super soft. A little hard. Nice. Mmm. I like I like all the spices in this, but it tastes very similar to like a like a wasabi. Biryani? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, very uh, similar to biryani, but no, obviously it's, yeah. it's a veg. But biryani uh, absorbs all the flavor because it's marinated and it's, uh, it's cooked in a pressure cooker. Okay. This one is on a flat griddle. So, so it's different. It's made differently. Yeah. Different. That's basically like coleslaw. Yeah. It is. Yeah. The... I'm, I'm loving this, and the thing is that we almost never eat rice yeah. in India except we eat biryani. Yeah. Mm. 
So, so let me tell you, it's like it's almost like a hate comparing it to it, but it's like a Chinese rice. Exactly. Yeah, it tastes exactly. like that. Yeah. Exactly like that, but you have the Indian taste in it. Yeah. Because of the mix of spices. Oh, it's fabulous. Basically, it's a fried rice. Give it a little stir. Nice candy taste. With the lemon, it's a whole different dimension altogether. It's a whole it's different world. It's to the flavor. A whole different world. Man, this is, this does it make it a bit more like acidic and citrusy? Yeah. Yeah, it does, it does. Wow. Look at that, guys. Look how good that looks. Love this rice dish. So, basically, we're going to have uh, a cooler. Um, it's called buttermilk. Yeah. The Indian buttermilk, which is basically a, a thinned uh, yogurt. And uh, this is also a masala based uh, drink where they add in a little bit of spices and top it off with cilantro. And it's very refreshing. Definitely the standard meal. This is the best part about Indian food is that at the end of every meal you either have a lassi yeah, yeah. or some milky type of drink. Yeah, something, like, something to cool you down. And to cool your stomach too. Cool the stomach, help yeah. the digestion. Yeah, that's, that's how you gotta end. Buttermilk. Buttermilk. I mean, it's like pure milk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up. It's not pasteurized at all. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo! It's definitely gonna help me settle my stomach after all the spices. Yeah. But damn, it's like pure, like. I'm not a huge fan of pure milk it's, either. It's pure lard here. Yeah. Like, it's pretty cool because it has like, like green spices inside it, so it changes the taste yeah. a little bit, but it's still bit. like pure, pure milk. So guys, we did an incredible street food tour here in JM Road in Pune. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. What an evening. What an evening. Kaugali. I One mean, of the best Kaugalis and amazing items that we tried out. For sure. For the first time. My favorite thing was a sponge dosa. Oh yeah. yeah. Like I, think, I think for all of us. Yeah. Sponge dosa? Yeah. Totally agree. That's a common one. That is a must try. If you for that, yeah. Guys, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to Sam and Audrey. Like to me. And in the future channel. And in the future, future channel. <laughs> We're waiting for it. Yep. Yeah. Make it happen, man. Yeah. Make it happen. Alright. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. That's great. Woo! Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Pune, India. And as you can see, I'm with my good friend Ronald McDonald. We're here at the McDonald's on JM Road and we're about to try an Indian McDonald's breakfast. I've never had McDonald's in India. I know it's completely different from America, but the breakfast, that's what I'm really excited about because I love McDonald's breakfast and I really want to see what they have here. I hope they have pancakes. I'm sure they'll have a very unique, diverse menu. Let's go inside and eat McDonald's breakfast. Two dosa masala double patty, yeah. four spinach muffin. That's right. And then we also want two masala um, scrambled eggs, three piece meal. And we also want two hotcakes and two Belgian waffles, two pieces. And anything, anything to drink? Oh, we already. We're already what else is this. unique? What else is unique to India? I think that's. That's good, right? That's good, yeah. Oh, well. Good morning again. I'm super excited today. This is gonna be so amazing. Look at this. I got so many things today. I got the dosa masala brioche. I got the corn and spinach brioche. Masala scrambled eggs that look so freaking good. What else I got? I got the hot cakes, waffles, two piece waffles. I got a hash brown and I got some masala chai. I have no idea where to start, but let me tell you a little bit about this McDonald's. You walk in, you place your order. Then once you're done placing your order, you get the food and you go upstairs. And you can see there's a very spacious room. Over here to the right, I have like a birthday room. And then yeah, a lot of seating here. You know, you can either sit on a big booth or you can sit in small tables like this. And here we go. I I don't know, maybe I should start with one of these brioches. Oh, look at this. Here I have the corn and spinach brioche. Look at this, guys. How good this looks. This is the corn and spinach brioche. Look at that. A very nice veggie option. Oh, I don't even know how hungry I am. All right, let's do it. Mmm, mmm. It tastes the corn and the spinach. It's a nice patty. There's cheese on top. It's a very fluffy brioche. The bread is so nice. Oh, man. 
this is my type of brioche. Very light. Mmm. Obviously, loving this patty though. It's fantastic. It has this very distinctive taste of India. You really taste the spices, but the corn and the spinach, it's a perfect balance of both the corn and spinach. The cheese is like American cheese. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Hey okay, guys, I'm gonna take a break from this one. I love it. So far, my favorite thing here. Next one we're going with is the dosa masala. Two patties. I feel like we overdid it with this one, but it looks fantastic with this. So I'm coming to how, how's oh, the meal so far? Oh, dude, this is amazing. I tried the corn and spinach. It's, oh. Is it good? I've, yeah, been, I've, really even good. Got, I've just been showing everybody what I'm doing. Oh, stuff? Okay. Dude, look, you got your waffle. My waffle. It's three different dipping sauces. Three different dipping sauces. So, what? Look, and it's like whipped cream. Oh, wow. And then. This is the uh, hot fudge. Okay. And the, those are caramel and hot fudge. Okay, hot fudge. So I think we're gonna have to share them, but you can have first dips. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, perfect. So I'll, I'll, I'll do this me. and then I'll bring it to you. Okay. You bring it over to me. Okay. McDonald's <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> and that's Sam from Sam and Audrey. And if you didn't know, he's with me on this trip. We're doing 18 days in India. Amazing. This guy's awesome. All right. Now let's jump back into the food. Dosa masala brioche. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. The texture is nice and soft. Mmm. You can really taste the masala throughout. Oh, it's fantastic. It's not hot at all. Mild. Mmm. Oh, you're bringing me a coffee. I'm bringing you your masala chai. Mm. It is like, dude, it is built so to the top. To the rim? I almost, yeah, right to the rim. I thought I was going to spill it. Perfect. But, is there anything you like the most so far? Or? I like this a lot. I mean, yeah. I've only had these two brioches. Okay. They're awesome. They're awesome? They're awesome. Like, I'm gonna finish them. <laughs> <laughs> we have to eat a tie later, so. Oh, gotta, we gotta be careful with this. We gotta be careful. All right, All right. Well, I'll come back and hang and see you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just have one more bite here. Mmm. And I just hit the cheese right now. Mmm. Look at that. So amazing. Like it's really amazing this thing. I understand why people come to India and try McDonald's because McDonald's in India is on another level. The sauce just took this thing to another level. Like it really is an incredible brioche. Like incredible. McDonald's are doing something amazing with the Indian breakfast here in India. That's so amazing. Okay, now let's try some masala chai. Ooh, really hot. Mmm, better than having chai on the street. And a lot less hot. Because usually here in India, on the streets, when you have chai, it's like boiling. This is like, this is not too hot. It's nice. Mmm, I love the, the flavors in here. It's so unique. It's like, if you haven't had tea in India or chai in India, you, like, you won't be able to understand it because it's not reg regular tea. So chai in India is like milky, the spices, a little peppery, mm, a little frothy too. Oh yeah. The only thing is that it's not full of caffeine, so I mean, it's not like an espresso that's gonna wake you up. It's just gonna get you through the day. I'm gonna jump on the waffle right now. And here we're gonna put some hot fudge on top, a little bit right here, right there, nice. I'm gonna put some caramel on this side, and I'm gonna put some more cream. Obviously. And here we have it. Let's jump into the waffle. It's so fluffy. Belgian waffle. Here we go. Belgian waffle with some hot fudge. Mmm. Hot fudge is pretty thick. Wow. Very buttery. Mmm. But I love it. Next up, let's try some of the caramel. Mmm. The caramel is super sweet, but it's really nice with this Belgian waffle. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna finish this Belgian waffle. Guys, I'm really hungry today. Like, I'm really hungry. Came out really good. And I'm just gonna take this huge piece right here. Huge piece. Take it down. I love this Belgian waffle. That was awesome. Awesome. I've never had Belgian waffle in a McDonald's before. But this thing kicked And uh, before, like, you know, I was talking about the chai. The reason why I chose chai over, you know, coffee is because chai is India. Like, everybody has chai. People don't go and have espressos. They have chai. A very unique flavor. The tea in Morocco is very unique. Tea in, in India is very unique as well. And I could just drink forever. Like, I, yesterday I had like five cups. Mmm. Let's, uh, let's jump on to the next thing. What do we got? 
I'm gonna do some masala eggs. So they give you a bun as well. I'm not gonna do the bun, I'm just gonna go for the eggs. Like some ketchup and some chili sauce. And then I'm gonna jump on the chili sauce because I love spicy stuff. So let me open this up. Okay, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna take these, this bun out. I'm gonna put this, this here. Okay, so scrambled eggs. I'm just gonna try it alone. Mmm. Oh, my sauce is so fire with this. Oh, it's a little spicy. Oh, this is perfect. If you're into like spicy eggs, this is so up your alley. I love having scrambled eggs and throwing stuff on top, like throwing some like ground beef or you know ground lamb even. Mmm, this is so good. I mean, it's really spicy though. You have to be careful here. And then with the hot sauce. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's unique. I mean, the hot sauce. I think you should just have this alone. Mmm, this is probably one of my top scrambled eggs ever. I love Indian food, I love scrambled eggs. You put them all together and you warm my heart. Mmm, you guys have to come to India and try the masala eggs. What the, this, this is so incredible. Sam, the eggs are insane. My favorite part. My favorite thing so far, yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I have to have the hash brown because this is part of McDonald's breakfast all around the world. Oh, this is actually not like too crunchy, it's a little soft. Mm, the same thing as America. Exactly the same. Mmm. My father loves this. Dad, I'm eating this for you in India. Crunchy. I love it. I love it. Alright, and our last thing to try here is the hotcakes. Bam! Pancakes. The pancakes at McDonald's in America is my favorite thing on the menu. I usually get like the, the big breakfast and it's like sausage, pancake, etc. Here they only give you the hotcakes, obviously there's no sausage. Let's just drown these pancakes in maple syrup. Watch this. All right there. Woo! All of it, all of it right there. Maple syrup. You can't have pancakes without maple syrup. You just can't. Let's see. Oh, fluffy. I'm gonna put them on top of each other. Look at this. What? I, think, I feel like I need more maple syrup, it's like too little. <laughs> Cut it up. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. It's identical to America. Identical. Oh, McDonald's, this is great consistency. Like, it is identical. There's just something about McDonald's hotcakes. They're always the same, and you can never have pancakes like the McDonald's pancakes anywhere else. It's always the same at McDonald's. Everyone else makes it differently. I mean, it's, it's funny because pancakes, it's something so easy, but it just depends on what they do with the batter, and how, how long they cook it, etc. This is like, mm. oh, my favorite since I was a little kid. McDonald's pancakes, only at McDonald's. I'm gonna have to stop eating the pancakes because this has filled me up way too much, and I really wanna have some more of this dosa masala because this was my favorite for sure. They really did a good job with the dosa masala. It's not too spicy, lots of flavor. They put this amazing sauce on top, it's like yellow sauce. Mm. Okay, so we tried one, two, three, four, five different menu items here at McDonald's. We also tried the masala chai, which is awesome. My personal favorite was the dosa masala brioche. That thing is out of control. And you can only find it here at McDonald's in India. So I definitely recommend when you come to India, trying McDonald's breakfast at least one time on your trip. I didn't do it last time and I regret it now because this is so freaking good. And the portions aren't crazy big. Like you saw the pancakes, it's only two pancakes. The brioche, I mean, it's, everything is in moderation, right? The one thing I didn't do is I didn't put the masala eggs with the, with the bun which I don't really regret because then I would be like way too much. It'd be like having, you know, how many, three sandwiches? I don't need three sandwiches. The masala eggs and the dosa masala brioche are my two favorite things from this breakfast. This breakfast is awesome. McDonald's, you're doing a fantastic job here in India. I really salute you. Guys, come to India, try McDonald's breakfast. You will not regret it. I've been chowing down. I hope this doesn't look too gross. Like it looks, it definitely looks like I've been eating it. It's not fresh, but uh, this, this menu is good, dude. Been, like really pleasantly surprised and my favorite thing is the masala scrambled egg mash dude that is good and really spicy too I'm so cool that it comes with this little bun like you can take a bite and take a bite of the bread or you can like load it up like this put it right on there 
Oh yeah. That's my favorite thing. My favorite out of all the sauces was probably the caramel sauce. Mmm, that's so good. Yeah, I love alternating between just the different sauces. You got whipped cream. And over here you have a hot fudge. Man, so good. And then the pancakes are like the one menu that I've had at almost every McDonald's around the world. The same thing. Same thing, the hot cake. And they're always the same, like they're fluffy like this. Like take a look at how fluffy that is. It absorbs the syrup really well. Sometimes you just grab it and eat it with my hands. <laughs> or animal style. It's good though, man. Like these are probably one of the most reliable things you can get at McDonald's for a breakfast anywhere in the world. And the same in India too. So the pancakes were good. So I've got to say, out of all the unique menu items that you can get for breakfast in India at McDonald's, this is the star, the masala scrambled eggs, man. What did you think? It was that and the dosa. And you like the dosa too? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the dosa was the one with the, 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 the two patties, right? Mm hmm Yeah, man, that was good. That was really good too. <laughs> I'm getting full, dude. <laughs> If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you love McDonald's or if you've eaten McDonald's in India. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and subscribe to Sam and Audrey. He's with me on this 18 day journey throughout India. I'll see you on the next Indian travel adventure. Peace. Oh, and this masala chai, it's so delicious. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here with my boy Sam from Sam and Audrey in Pune, India. And right now we're at the most scenic spot in the city. It's called Parvati Hill. We're gonna explore here and then we're going to try a very unique dish from Pune. It's called Barvati. Yeah. Bagarvati. Yeah. Bagarvati, something like that. And, and if we have time, maybe even some chai too. Even some chai. Some very, very unique chai. Yeah, man. This is awesome. So sightseeing, food, and great drink. Can't wait Let's to do go. It. Aditya. Aditya. It's Aditya. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Mumbai. So you're not from Pune? Yeah. <laughs> it's around 1.5 kilometers. 1.5 kilometers? My legs are peeling from it. I know, it's, it's a really steep climb. I mean, we've been doing it for like three minutes. I'm already tired. Ooh. How about you, Sam? You know what I'm realizing, dude? We're much better at eating than we are at exercise. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm pretty good, dude. I'm just exhausted right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's really nice. I mean, it's, it's a really hilly rock. It's a rock, right? This yeah. is not a hill. It's more like a rock. On the way up, you'll see some guys weaving some clothing there. Yeah. These steps are so steep. Yeah, I Bro, you look spent. You okay? This, this is what happens when you don't rest and yeah, have jet lag. This is what happens when you haven't slept for more than three hours for like three to four consecutive nights. This is what happens when you go hard. Yeah, <laughs> we are going hard. We made it. We made it. It was a sweaty affair. I mean, it wasn't so bad, but the thing is the steps are so steep. Like it's yeah. literally like, I don't know, it felt like almost 90 degrees here. It did. The thing is like, had we come like two hours earlier around like nine o'clock instead of 11, it would have yeah. been a lot better. Like I, I literally have beads of sweat coming into Yeah, we're like... Now. Okay, so once you walk into the temple grounds, as you can see, it's very spacious, it's huge terrace. In the center you have the dome, very beautiful, colorful, yellow and red, love it. And then over here, you get views, look overlooking the entire city of Pune. There's a bunch of trees, you know, blocking the view, but it's still very impressive overlooking the city. And the air up here is super nice. Dude, I'm loving it up here. Like, it was hard to get up. I sweated like crazy, but now that I'm just walking around, the air is definitely fresher up here. Parvati Hill is a hill lock that rises 2,100 feet above sea level. On top of the hill, you have the Parvati Temple, one of the most scenic locations in Pune. The temple is the oldest heritage structure in Pune and was built during the rule of the Peshwa dynasty. If you're visiting Pune, this is the best place to get views over the city. This is the second highest point in Pune after Batel Hill. When you get to the hill, you have to walk 103 steps to get to the temple. It was definitely worth coming all the way up here. I mean, it was tough to get up, but as soon as we got up, it was a lot of fun. Just wandering around, some great views. And yeah, it's definitely worth it. Here in Pune, there's not so many sites. And the reason why there's not so many is because most of them are outside the city. There's a few that we wanted to see. Yeah. There's a cave, uh, a rock cave. There is 
a few fortresses outside and a lot of like activities, mountain activities, because there's yeah. so many mountains outside of Pune. And, and they're, they're about like what, 40, 40, 40, 50 kilometers away? Yeah, they're like, they're like an trips. hour, but it's an hour, then you need like two or three there, and then yeah. another hour to get back. Yeah. So I mean, it wasn't, with 48 hours, not really, I mean, possible, yeah. but if you get like 72, yeah. maybe 96 hours, something yeah. like that, you know? Yeah, and especially like we were focusing heavy on the food, so we just didn't have the time. But if we had, I mean, if we had one or two more days, I think we could have done a lot of the day trips. Yeah, for cool. sure. We could have combined a few, so. But yeah, I think next up, we're gonna eat, right? We're gonna eat. Let's go eat. We worked up our appetite. For sure. Right when we walked outside of Paravati Hill, we saw this guy selling coconuts. And one of my favorite things about India is coconut water. I mean, they sell it everywhere, and it's so cheap. I think here it's like 10 US cents. Oh my God. I drank that whole thing in like one shot. <laughs> I need to stay hydrated. Right now the weather is like 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It's starting to boil, it's almost noon. <sighs> My God, I'm just sweating up a storm right now. I'm soaked. This is great, I'm just gonna drink it like this. Like made me sweat even more. I think it's even hotter than it was like an hour ago. It must be like what, 30, 40 degrees? Close to 100 in Fahrenheit? It's crazy. Mm. Okay, so I, I was wrong. It's actually one US dollar each. Yes. Not 10 cents. <laughs> Still a good deal. Still, Still a good deal. deal. In Miami, they sell it for like five bucks. In New York, it's $10. Imagine. Uh, we are going to Chitre Bandhu, outlet in Dekkan Gym Khana in Pune. Uh, basically, the Chitre Bandhu is famous for its sweets and most of Bakarwadi, which is the thing most of the people love to eat. And they have more than 30 to 40 items of sweets and those are really more tasting and mouth watering. So uh, we are going to try some Ras Malais, then Bakarwadi and Lassi. These are really special things that are available here. What is this? That's a gate pass. <laughs> so this place is so packed right now because Diwali is about to happen. Diwali is the biggest Hindu festival in India and it's happening in a few days and this place is nuts right now. It's so crazy. This place is bonkers, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we trying? Try everything, man. I want to try everything. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to try a few different snacks. These are all like sweets here. There's so many. I got one, two, three, four, five, six different ones and this is the one we came here for it's bakalvari bakalvari right here look right here so it's like a fried roll i don't know what's in the middle what is it so a mixture of beans and vegetables go for it bro right here we go i'm not a big fan dude no not the most thick very dry yeah very hard yeah Fry the hell of it. Kaju katli, and what is it? So it's made of almonds, okay? Okay. Try this one. No. Oh, I'm game for this one. Yeah, you like that one. This is super nice sweet. Cool. Mm. Oh. It's like super packed. It's like if they, they mass almonds and condense them. Mmm. Has some pistachios as well. Oh, I love that one. That's my favorite so far. And over here, what do we have? Cashews. No, oh, I'm gonna love this one. It's like a little roll stick. Cool. Oh, awesome. Mm. Is that, do you like that one the most? The pistachio in this one. This cashews. I think it might have some pistachio as well. I mean, they put a lot of nuts in here. And I love this little thing. It's not tin foil, thank God. But it's some like silver foil though. I'm loving these sweets. This is Kazu Anali. I mean, it looks it's very similar to the other one, just a lot thicker. And it feels like it has like honey on top because it's very like like a syrup on there. I think there is honey here. Mm. This and that one, the, one, the previous one, the same thing. Oh, it's so sweet. It's like too sweet. <laughs> too sweet. Kasu katni. Kasu, mava, and sugar. So it's cashews and sugar. Mmm. Super soft texture. Oh. This is almost like a. It's almost like a vanilla bar. Wow. That's an interesting assortment of flavors, man. It's wild, bro. It's wild. Everything here is made out of nuts. Wow. Badam, meva, these almonds. This is actually like almost like a rock. 
It was so hard to break. Yeah, but when you broke it, it sure crumbled. Dude, everything here is so sweet. Yeah, they have to overdo it with the sugar, huh? Kazu pancho meva. Kazu pancho meva. This one's a mixture of everything. Kazu pavela. Kazu pavela. Oh yeah, dude, the amount of sugar here is like over the top. Mind-boggling, huh? Dude, I think like, the whole thing is like 60% sugar. Wow. I need to wake up, so I need sugar right now. <laughs> this is your jolt of sugar. Oh, dude, <laughs> this plate is so amazing. This plate, not so good. I thought it was pretty good. Tons of sugar, like I'm on a sugar high right now. Um, I like the sweets more than the savory one. This one, the most local one, was not a hit at all for us. Both of us didn't really like it, but I think we enjoyed the sweets, we enjoyed the nuts, right? Everything they have here is incredibly sweet, but I've never been to a store in my life this full. Like, too many people here. This is so crazy. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go try some tandoori chai. This Ready is a, go? This is a zoo, man. We don't even know how to get out of here. We've tried like four different ways. We don't know. The Tandoori Chai place is really close, so instead of taking Uber, we're going to take a rickshaw. Tuk Tuk ride. We haven't done it yet this trip. I'm excited. Let's jump in. It's really an experience. So we negotiated and it's 30 rupees per Tuk Tuk. We only fit two people in each Tuk Tuk. So it's the two of us. So the two of us. And our friends taking the other one. Perfect. So our next stop is Tandoori Chai. Tandoori Chai is a little different, so the way it works is you get the clay cups, right? That's the clay club. Okay. And so basically they are gonna hit this cup with the tandoori and then some degree it's gonna heat and they pour this chai in this heat tandoori cup and they serve it. So it's basically gonna be cold as well as hot chai. Wow. Chai. Some cold and hot chai. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's yeah. do it. Okay Sam, so we did it. We're trying tandoori chai. Let's Cheers bro. Cheers, let's give it a shot. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's good, but still really hot. Still a little bit too hot, yeah. Considering it's so hot outside, too. I mean, he said it was cold and hot, but this is like hot and hotter. <laughs> totally agree. It's really good. And the way they prepared it was just incredible. Yeah, really cool. So as you can see, they pull it out on fire. They pour the chai into it. Then he pours it into, you know, makeups that were obviously not on fire. These are like, it's still really hot though. It's, real, it's, 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 it's super hot. We did it. We went to Paravati Hill. Yeah. We tried a lot of sweets. Good. And then tandoori chai, which is a must. Only here in Pune. Yeah. Awesome. It was an awesome day. Awesome day. Long much. day. Long day. Our next fun. stop is uh, Hyderabad, so we'll be there soon. We'll be there really soon. We got a flight to catch tonight. Bro. Yeah. We have like three hours to get to the airport. Let's go. Let's do it. So guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to Sam and Audrey. Subscribe to. Kantobriopa. He has a festival <laughs> India channel. Festivals in India, follow his channel. Yeah. And I'll see you on the next Indian food adventure. Peace. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here in Pune, India. And I'm super excited today because I'm gonna try to eat the biggest tally in Pune. The biggest tally, it's called the Hubali Tali. 20 to 22 inches parata with a variety of vegetables and sides. Guys, this is huge. Three types of paratas, eight vegetables, two types of rice, a biryani, uh, what else? Two types of desserts, one churi churi naan, lassi chas, dahi puchka, and it basically this feeds five to six people. This is super crazy, I'm excited, and if you actually complete it, they pay you money. That's what? Nuts. That's an awesome challenge. Let's go inside and try it. Oh my god, look at this tally guys. This is so beautiful. The mix of colors, the smell, the aroma. Oh, it's beautiful. We got seven, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different vegetables. We have some chilies here. We have different breads here. We have this huge parata in the middle. We got biryani right here. We have some rice here. We have these, I forgot the name of these. Papol. Papol, papol. Okay, and then on the side we have some pani puri. 
Oh, this is the best thing in the world. Right here we have a lassie, and then we have that buttermilk drink that we had yesterday that I don't love. <laughs> but it's cool, it's cool. It's good. And uh, yeah, I really don't know how to start this. I mean, the best thing to do is rip off a piece and start dipping, right? So that's yeah. what we're gonna do. You gotta try them all, man. You gotta try them all. Uh, I won't lie to you. I might finish a lot of this, because I'm an animal when it comes to this food. <laughs> Indian food, I'm, I'm the assassin. <laughs> Dude, if you can finish this, I will be most impressed. And what I suggest you do first is pull out some hand sanitizer. I need this because I have to touch all this food. <laughs> I'm so excited, bro. <laughs> I love a kid in the candy store I know, right now. I, I've never seen anything quite like this. I, right. I mean, this is this is the biggest plate I've ever seen. I'm gonna pull this one out. Whoa. Look, look at that. that man. And they stuff it. Stuffed. It's like stuffed and it's, it's like falling apart and it's full of vegetables so many spices you know you really gotta just break a piece right all the different spices it's like listen like this cheese in here this peas okay uh, you know what? i'm gonna just try this first alone oh here's the best parata it's a little spicy yeah oh it's starting to come up but i love spicy food so all right, the only problem here is I don't know what these vegetables are. So I'm just gonna try them and I'll let you know what I think. Start with this one right here, just one to you. And this is my favorite part about Indian food, is getting the bread and dipping it in sauces. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's so good. Mm. It almost feels like the sauce they make with butter chicken, that red sauce. Tomato for sure, yeah. right there. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like take smaller bites because I ate a lot right there. <laughs> this looks like dal, which is lentils. Oh, like black. Oh yeah. Mmm. The earthy flavor there. Oh man. Two in and I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Just scratch the surface. I know, hey. This is more of a red sauce. This can be this can be another like tomato-based sauce right here. I see a little tansy that one. Oh, I love this one. Like, I love it. Do it in. I mean, that's it's really unique how they put they put like vegetables all throughout the parata. It's not just a plain parata because usually people do that, you know, plain parata. But here's by and they have some cashew nuts, some corn. Yeah. So it's like non bread. They put I don't know if that's cilantro. They put cheese. Oh, it's like super heavy on the cheese right there. Ooh. Oh man. Mmm. It's not like a Parmesan cheese, but it's like a. There's a little taste very similar to Parm. I don't know. You got some Parmesan cheese here? Probably yeah. So I'm gonna continue trying different breads because we have like seven different types of breads here. Is this one right here? You've definitely had a lot of people interested in what you're doing. But you have the American loving all the Indian food, so. Yeah. Mmm, it's another doll. It's a little sweeter, that one. Mm. They put some sour cream on top too, right? Dude, wow. this is so mouth-watering. Like, I went, I just died. I went to like Indian barata heaven right here. It's very beany. This is a light orange right here. Mmm, a little spicy, that one. Not my favorite. Let's go to the next one. This one also looks more like a tomato-based sauce. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's good, huh? Oh, very earthy, tomatoey. Has some carrots flavors in there as well. That one's insane. I'm gonna keep this one to the side. This is my my go-to for later. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one is this like grayish color sauce. I don't really know what this could be. Doesn't look like anything I've seen before. Never really seen yeah, never this seen type of sauce. Like that either. I guess I have to try it to figure that out. It's almost like almonds with coconut. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Very flavorful. Like, and it's very like tropical. It's a whole different world from the rest of them. Super creamy. Hmm. Little nutty too. I'm going to ham on this place. <laughs> right here we have a sweet called raita. Raita right here. Bundi raita. Bundi raita. And what is this like? Yeah, just have it. It's bundi. Bundi. Okay. That makes it sweet, but it's sour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
It's like a super watered down sour cream with the vegetable inside. This one I can't wait to try. Right there. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> super hot, huh? Super hot. I'm gonna have to try the lassi now because I'm starting to overheat with that pepper. So this is the lassi. This is the most famous drink in India. They usually have it after a meal, you know, to cool down the spice. On top you have a float. I mean, it's basically ice cream, a vanilla ice cream. They also have like a cherry a sauce, right? It's a very thick, milky drink. I love it. Dude, it's so refreshing though. Yeah. The biggest issue with all this is everything's super fat. <laughs> but I love it. It's... And you've even got a lassi mustache. I know, right? Hold on. <laughs> got milk. <laughs> you gotta do is stir it a little bit. Get this, look at this, this ice cream right here. The cherry sauce. Dude, that ice cream is so bizarre. It's like milk that has been, uh, that has been like cooking for hours and hours and hours on end and they make it very, very frothy. It's almost just like whipping cream, but this is like between whipping cream and ice cream. All right, next up here to the left, we have Bani Puri. It's really famous in Mumbai and throughout Maharashtra, right? And then they put two different chutneys. They put mint chutney and tamarind chutney. On top, they put some of these crunchy little shaves. So crunchy shaves. And then what you do is you pop them. So you just like grab them and pop it in. Mm. Oh, and these they put like some cream inside. Good, it's good. Oh, it's curd? Yeah. Girl, what are they doing to me here? <laughs> See, the thing about this is that you're supposed to like eat a lot of them. Bani Puri is always a good idea. Jeera rice. Jeera rice. Jeera rice. Has a lot of spices. Yeah. The best thing to do is grab some of these sauces. So whichever one you like the most, I think this one was one of my favorites. So grab the sauce, go like that, just mix it in, and that's how you do it right there. It's like so <laughs> addictive. You, you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep trying all of them. So this is paneer, cottage cheese. This is what the veg Hindus eat. And I eat it too. <laughs> mm. That one's spicy. I've eaten biryani all over India, but tonight I'm flying to Hyderabad, and that's where this dish came from. Bam, oh, what's happening here? I gotta break this. Pop it open. Oh, just, just look at that. Just diving here, like <laughs> digging for gold. <laughs> they have, you know, two different styles. They either have it like, you know, veg or non-veg. Non-veg usually has buffalo, lamb. Veg just has spices and maybe some vegetables inside. Hmm. Mm. Dude, did they put pineapple on here? Dude, they did. And potato, like long bean here. Super packed with flavor. Mm. Look, oh, so here we have some carrots. Lots of vegetables here. Sorry, I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I don't care. <laughs> you make up your own rules as you go, right? Mm. This is fire. Gulab jamur. It's not gulab. It's very sweet, dude. Gulab jamur. Look at that. It almost looks like a bread pudding. Yeah. Like, but compact into a ball. So that's my. It looks super saturated. Yeah. It's almost like compact bread made into a ball with mava. Come on, man. Tastes similar to my life. Very similar. Too sweet. Too sweet for me. Munda halva. So I'm guessing this has cashews, has nuts. Oh my god. Very crumbly. This is more like a bread pudding. Very nutty though. Very sweet. Again, guys, I don't love sweet, so I'm gonna pass on that. I have too many more, too many things here to try. It's just like a, like a wafer, you know? Yeah. Mm. So it's very crispy, it's crunchy, basically like a chip. A massive chip, look at this. A massive chip indeed. Yes, yeah, so here we have chas, which is buttermilk. We tried this yesterday. It's like a very sour milk, and it's like almost like pure milk. I'm not a fan. It's like 20 US dollars to try this massive plate. It actually feeds five to eight people. Hey man, thanks for letting me try a bit. Like, <laughs> there's a lot left. <laughs> there's a lot left. 90%. 90%. So you know what? These have actually been cut into like, almost like pizza like slices. Check exactly. out that, man. That's so cool. So look, look at what's in there. Look at all like the peas and the corn. Like it's just absolutely stuffed. So I'm just gonna rip off a piece. 
and for my first bite, was this the, was this the paneer one? Check out, look at the size of that chunk of paneer. Pop it in. It's so freaking good, so good. Oh my gosh, that paneer is delicious. And then the parantha, wow. So much flavor, so much spice, man. It's just so good. I'll try one more. All right, dude, I'm gonna try what was your favorite part. It's right over here in the middle. Wow, look at that. Breaking it in half again. Oh, look at that, taking it for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> My finger looking good. Oh my gosh, that has like a, I think that one's beans. There's just like, the thing I'll say about this tally is that there's just like options galore. You like, you break off a piece of bread and you don't even know which one to dip it in. Or you, you might even forget which one you've tried. Like there's just so many things to try here. It's just such a massive tally. I just love it, man. Like only in India did you get something like this. This is amazing. So, I accepted the challenge. I didn't even make it like 5% in, <laughs> okay? You still did pretty good. Yeah, I did pretty good, but this is massive. Again, seven vegetables, a huge barata, two different rices, two different sweets, seven different types of breads. What else do we have? We have pani puri. We have a lot more chilies, if you want to try chilies. Fire, lassi, buttermilk. I mean, basically you have all the flavors of India right here. Got it all. And if you love this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, and subscribe to Sam, which is behind the camera. Thank you, man. He's also accepting the challenge. We're gonna film him right now. Yeah. So make sure to see his video. See you on the next travel adventure. Dude, I'm just gonna go to town on these spices. <laughs> mm. Just can't help yourself, man. That's so good. I love to this. Not too hot. This is not a habanero. This is like a jalapeno. Thirty-six hours in Pune, crazy, dude. We did a lot in thirty-six hours. We did so much in thirty-six so hours. Much. We so produced much. like seven videos each. We were basically saying we've never like hit it so hard in a, in a thirty-six hour period. Man. I mean, the thing is, that we're doing a lot of food, and there's just so many things to eat. Yeah. And wow, I mean, I'm destroyed. We haven't slept in like four days. Exactly. <laughs> but, but I love Pune though, man. I love it too. I really think it's a really nice destination to yeah. visit, especially if you're in Mumbai. It's only a three hour drive. You can take a train here. And yeah, it's another great spot in Maharashtra. Yeah. Different cuisine. Totally different cuisine. Different. Very different. But and lots of different areas to visit in the city too. Very spread out. Very spread out. Not that many attractions, but the reason why there's not that many attractions in terms of like things to see is because most of the stuff is outside about an hour, half an hour to an hour. And a lot of things are like hiking. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of activities because there's mountains and there's lakes around here. In terms of food, the biggest tally I've ever tried it was, was here. here. Oh my gosh. Oh my dude. god. Dude, that thing was a behemoth. That thing was so crazy. <laughs> and that was next level crazy. That was next level. I think some other cool stuff was probably the misal pav. Yep. Oh, very spicy and yummy. Yeah, yeah. What else? That, that was cool. I also really liked that, that one temple we went to. We were able to walk along the wall. That was super cool as well. A little bit of a... You mean the, for, the fortress? Oh, sorry, the fortress. The fortress, fortress. Not the temple. The yeah. fortress we got to walk across was really cool. Especially walking along the wall. There's some amazing vantage points. Amazing yeah. vantage points. And then the other thing I really, really liked in terms of food was ten, tandoori chai. Oh, dude, that was amazing. That, that was... What a procedure. Yeah, and that was next level chai. That's yeah. like crazy yeah, chai. That's so good. <laughs> if I could have that every day, I'd be thrilled. Me too. And yeah, so right now it's 7 p.m. and we're headed to the airport. Airport and we have a one hour flight yeah. to the city of Hyderabad. Hyderabad, I'm super excited. This is the birthplace of Briyani. Hyderabadi Briyani is number one. We're gonna be trying it, definitely. More, probably more than once. I think we're gonna do a Briyani <laughs> food tour. Yeah, we're gonna do a whole tour just on that. For sure. That's awesome. We're gonna get to the airport in about five minutes. When we get there, we're gonna go explore and look for some food because we're both hungry. Yeah. And then we'll catch our flight. Let's go. Let's do it, man. All right, so Sam, what's happening here? What's happening is we're in line, man. Check out how big it is. And to get into the airport, what you have to do is get your bag checked through. It has to go through security. Also, you have to show your passport and your ticket just to get in the building. And that is in every single airport in India. 
it's a little weird because you know we're used to walking into any airport in the world but here in India you have to have your passport and your ticket printed out and ready to go the only problem is I didn't bring my ticket he has it thank God okay what an experience getting into this airport I mean once we got in after security we had to go through another little security <laughs> with our bags specific only to our airline yeah Air India and we had to wait in a yes. line there for like 15 20 minutes crazy it's so, crazy so I mean we we're here two hours early and you know 30 minutes waiting and then once we got in my bag was overweight yeah like so five kilos five kilos so it's 20 kilos so we have to pay around 2400 so like almost 50 us dollars just to get it just to, for the baggage allowance yeah yeah insane but once we got in everything's cool actually not really because once we got through security they checked him and they basically made him take out his, his entire they bag they dumped his bag they dumped my bag <laughs> and then they asked me if i had a lighter i had so much camera gear so they didn't ask me about any of my camera gear they asked me if i had a lighter i don't even smoke so. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so once we got in, we went upstairs and on the second level, this is like a huge food court. Not huge, I mean there's six, seven different vendors. Uh, they have a street food, Punjab Grill, Baker Street, it's basically a bakery. Yeah. They have a few chains like Subway and KFC, but they have different menus. Subway you said had like different types, chicken tandoori yeah, like stuff. Yeah, chicken, like chicken tikka subs, they had, uh, yeah, they had, they had like a pretty unique menu for India. Yeah, we want to hold off from eating because we're going to eat on the flight. I mean hopefully, the flight's only an hour, so yeah. we'll, we'll see if we eat on the flight. But yeah, a pretty small airport. Yeah. The last time I took a domestic flight with Air India, it, was, it wasn't that long of a flight, and they did feed us. So I fingers crossed, man, that, that we have a bit of a meal. Fingers crossed. Well, guys, I guess uh, let's go board the flight. Let's we have it, like man. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we are officially delayed by an hour and a half. So we're leaving here at like 10.45. We're not going to be in bed till like 1 in the morning. Dude, the only thing I was thinking about was getting to bed before midnight and having a good sleep. That is not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you have to know is that this is how India works. Everything's always delayed. Mm -hmm. Train, bus, yeah. flights. Yeah. There's always gonna be an issue, so you have to prepare for that. I remember saying to you before I check, I'm like, we gotta roll up the punches, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go upstairs, probably get a beer. Yeah. And then we're, we have time. and we have to eat. Let's go. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get two beers. Kingfisher Ultra, that is like best beer of the country or like the most famous beer and we're also getting chicken lollipop chicken lollipop i ate it on muhammad ali road it's so good it's Dude, like this is my first time to try it I'm so far. first time right first time <laughs> <laughs> have you had kingfisher before or no i've had kingfisher with my dad when we were traveling in india but okay, i had it quite nice. often actually it's the thing is that they're really big yeah. like 300 milliliters you know our, my memory of that was like we'd be on a roof we were on a rooftop bar or a rooftop restaurant and we'd be drinking kingfisher watching sunset that's, that's, that's amazing that's that's salute nice. dude salute. cheers Mm, nice. Light beer. This is good on a beach. Is the kingfisher like a pilsen? Similar, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is what I need it right now. I think I'm pressing the stress, dude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> stress. No, but for real, the past like four days have been like really, really long. We haven't stopped. I mean, from the flight to landing in Mumbai, going on a food tour, driving to Pune the same night, landing there, breakfast straight away, second food tour, third food tour, <laughs> <laughs> going to sleep like at 11, waking up at 5. People are, we're crazy, we're crazy. There's no other way to describe it. Oh. Now the beer is so good right now. We still have an hour and 40 minutes to go, so I'm going to enjoy chicken lollipop. Oh, man. Uh, we might be able to enjoy more things than this that. Yeah, right? So they put this like, I guess it's spice right here. Oh, so good. Is it so good? Not spicy at all. A little hot, not too hot. When I had it in Muhammad Ali Road, it was like sizzling hot. Oh, wow. Mm. It's basically a drumstick, yeah. but the way they do it, it's like a lollipop, right? Yeah. So easy to eat, huh? Oh, so grab it, it, man. It's just hot. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Nice flavors. Not too many spices on this one. I think it's masala, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm loving it. Let's get some more of this. Can't wait to try it for the first time, man. It's so good. <laughs> it's it's one of my favorite chickens. Wow. For sure. Mmm, how hot that is. Well, I, know, I can see the steam coming off. Crazy, man. Dude, I think I've grabbed the biggest piece. It's actually heavy in the hands. Check that out. 
Well, so I'm taking it for a swim. That sloss is so thick, dude. This is some of the best fried chicken, like, anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. Anywhere. So crispy on the outside, so much flavor. I love the contrast between the crunchiness on the outside and then the tenderness on the inside, plus all the flavors. Like, this is just so good, man. I could eat like 20 of these things. Damn, finally! Finally! Finally, man! Good. Really? Are we here? Yeah, right here. Be careful, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. Put it, you fit it here? Sam. <laughs> oh, man. That was a rough fight, dude. <laughs> rough, oh, right? Man. I, I'm not even as tired. I'm not that tired anymore because I have so much adrenaline <laughs> from that fight. <laughs> We're so nervous. We're so nervous, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> no, but for real, we had a super turbulent ride. It was scary. It was. I can't believe it's one in the morning right now. Woo! After a 90 minute super turbulent flight, we finally arrived here in Hyderabad, the capital of the state of Talangana. I'm so excited because this is my first time in southern India. This is the beginning of southern India. We're gonna eat some amazing food. Hyderabad biryani is a must. We have 72 hours to explore the city. Right now, what we're gonna do is get our luggage jump in an Uber and fly to our Airbnb. I'm destroyed, it's 1.30 in the morning, we gotta sleep, let's go. <laughs> Things a beast, man. 20 kilos. 20 kilos. <laughs> All right, this airport's impressive, right? Yeah, seriously, it's pretty big. Did you know this is, this is the technology city? I did, I did. So it's gonna be fascinating to see what the city's all about when we finally get to explore it tomorrow. It's pretty amazing, in every major airport in India, they have like Uber stations. I'm going, I'm getting my Uber. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm good, dude, I'm good. I'm good. Probably not. But Tornas, you guys send me a uh, luggage that is a little too big. <laughs> large, I have, actually that's an extra large. One thing I gotta tell you guys is that when you come to India, have your Uber app downloaded and use Uber in India. Don't use Ola, use Uber, don't use taxis. You can use Tutu if it's a very close distance uh, to the destination where you're going. Yeah. But most of the time, use Uber. Dude, I couldn't agree with you more. It like limits the hassles that you have to face. Yeah. Seriously, if you have to negotiate taxis or tuk-tuks, it's just, it's really challenging, man. You never get a good price and uh, yeah, it's frustrating. And they always drop you off at the destination you're going to. It's not like two tubes, they'll drop you off like a block away and you have to walk there and figure it out. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow, so we finally arrived, it's three in the morning and we made it here to our Airbnb. It's in a super nice neighborhood and this Airbnb is called The Purple Door. We're gonna show you that in tomorrow's video. <laughs> it really is a purple door. It is really a purple door and over here is the keys. Wow. Guys, I hope you love this video. It was a, a long journey from Pune to Hyderabad. It shouldn't have been that long, but the delayed flight, plus the bags, Uber. It's just been a long one. It's been a long one, man. All right, guys, hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to Sam and Audrey. And to David's been here. We'll see you in the morning in Hyderabad. Let's see if he left the right key. Okay, man. What's this happening?